this is, is a deal, a particularly bad deal for her campaign at this moment? I, I think it's sort of unfortunate timing, but I also think it's a smear campaign. It's, it's, it's a smear campaign on the part of One Wisconsin Now and the Kloppenberg campaign to try and, uh, you know, discredit a, a credible jurist who's doing well. I mean, the reality is these guys don't want to talk about the issues in the race. They want to find some distraction for voters. And by the way, I accept her apology for the earlier statements, and now we're going to get to that, and I think voters ought to, too. That's it's why. nonsense, and I'll tell you why. All of us, all of your viewers, Frederica, probably you did some things in college that you did or said things in college that you're not proud of, that you would take back, that you've grown up. I mean, my, my goodness, when I was a freshman, I thought I was a Democrat. Well, things change over time, right? Why can't it be chalked up to youthful indiscretion? Well, I think for a couple of things, some of those opinions continue to this day. I mean, she wrote a column in 2006 that said contraception is murder. I mean, some of the language was, was harsh. And, and Bill, do, do you feel like a s Supreme Court candidate should be held to a different standard? I think timing is important here, Frederica, because it, she herself says she's embarrassed by the language. I accept that. Uh, I would be embarrassed if I were her. It's intemperate at best and, and probably not something she was proud of uh, when it came out. Uh, and she said as much. So it's, it's, uh, I don't think you can hold somebody uh, accountable for something they did 24 years ago when they're a 20-year-old college student and they've changed. Life changes all of us. If we all held to account for the things we did or said in college, none of us would be employable. What about that issue that Scott was talking about, though, a moment ago, which has to do with something that she wrote about in 2006, having to do with the conscience clause with uh, pharmacists uh, prescribing or, or uh, dispensing contraceptives. And she described those pharmacists as being party to murder. I mean, and, and that would then make that the, the woman who was receiving those contraceptives a murderer? I mean, what about those kinds of statements? Yeah, I don't believe she was a judge at the time. She uh, wasn't. She was, she was an attorney, but uh, those are sort of closer to reality. Things that have been said in her current profession are things that ought to be debated in this race. And I, I, don't, I think that's fair game. Legit issues. Absolutely. Thanks. Everything we're talking about here today, Frederica, is before she was a judge. Right. She's been a judge at three I, different levels over the last I five years. I just want to get the last question and we, to we are you. not talking about any decision that she has made during that time. We're talking about stuff that was happening <laughs> long before, in some cases a quarter of a century before.